We're going to now take a second to bring all of these different things that we've learned back together to create a creature that has an animation. Remember the bird that we worked, in, worked on in the uh, rigid body? Well, let's bring that bird back and let's put some jiggly parts on him, like his belly, his uh, little feathers on his head, and then his tail feathers. And we're going to take each one a little bit differently. All right, if we uh, open up this file here, and it's going to be the uh, animated bird. Okay. And it's got just a real simple hop. And the whole reason he has that hop was to get um, some drastic movements in him so we could um, do some dynamics on him. All right, let's start off with this little feathers on his head. Always start from the beginning. Okay, I'll put make these soft first. So we're going to duplicate and make the copy soft. We'll hit create. We'll paint this uh, weights tool. And let's set this to be about 0.7 around there. So I'm just going to paint. Let me get a smaller brush here. smaller brush like that. So let's play this. Okay, not bad. Just a little bit of movement. Okay, we're going to do the same for this one. Paint the weights just on the tip there. Okay, make a note of this. It has seven so we're going to make this one a lot, uh, a lot springier. Okay, we'll go ahead and make that one soft. And when we paint the weights, we're going to drop this down quite a bit. All right, so let's test this. All right, looks good. While we have that selected, let's go ahead and add some springs. All right, and that's going to cause some springy movement. Now, those feathers were just parented to his skull bone. So absolutely nothing, um, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, just kind of a review. So I'm going to hide. those uh, springs. And now let's work on his body. Now his body has been smooth bound to the bones. So we can still make these soft. All we have to do is verify that the copy is going to be soft. All right, we do have a weight of one. So we'll hit create. We'll go ahead and paint our skin weights because right now if we hit play, nothing happens. Okay. But now let's go in here with a little bit of a bigger brush. And let's paint. This bird's got a nice big belly. And oops, we're actually making a big mistake here. We need to be at zero, frame zero, before we do this. All right, we'll make it soft at frame zero. Otherwise, we're going to have some issues with the skin jumping and not moving correctly because it's going to want to go to the goal, which was over here. All right, now we can paint his belly. And I'm going to go pretty low, so I want it, want it to all jiggle around here. Okay, let's just test this out. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, if you want, you can go a little bit lower, maybe like in this core area right here. So let's play this back again. That's almost a bit too much, so let's smooth it a couple of hits. Okay. So I just added a bit to that and we'll smooth it out. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, if you want, we have it selected, so we could just go back in and add just a little bit of movement to the wings. 
if you want. Make sure you get the inside of the wing here. All right, looking good. So now we've got this creature here that's been animated. He's got quite a bit of secondary movement. Now let's deal with this tail. Okay, and I'm actually going to hide my particle cloud here. Second here. Okay, and if we look at his tail feathers, they are parented to his tail bone here. And that's not good because I'm going to end up with lots of double transformations. So let me find this here. I'm going to move that out of this group. Group 6, it's this tail. I'm going to move it out. And actually, let me rewind it and I'll move it out. Alright, so here's what we have. Okay, we've lost our animation, but with group six selected, which is the feathers, tail feathers, I'm going to jump over, add a deformer, right, it's going to be a lattice. Okay, let's make a couple of quick modifications here. Let's go with four and the S, and we'll say four in the U. That should be more than enough, maybe five in the U. Okay, that should be more than enough for us to work with. Now, this lattice is what gets parented to that tailbone. So not the feathers themselves, but instead the lattice. So let's just verify that we have movement. All right, very good. Now that we have the lattice controlling those feathers, we can easily make this our soft body. So we'll just go in here. We're going to make the original soft, create that, go into our particles, and let me jump out to our side view here. It's easier to select these particles this way. Okay, so we'll select these particles, we'll go into our component editor, and the goal for these, let's set them at 0.6, so we want some, a lot of jiggle here. These will say 0.7, okay, these will make them 0.8. And then we'll just let these be 100%. Okay, let's take a look at our animation. All right, and as you can see, we've got a wonderful bit of playback here. Let me turn off all my dynamics here. Just turn off the visibility. And let's just see what we have. And you notice some of it's very subtle, but like on his head, there's a nice little bit of animation right when he settles. And it's a secondary movement that you guys might want to add to your own creatures and animation settings. Uh, because a lot of times, it's that's a little bit of magic that really finishes it out. So you could easily take this now, make that area soft. And remember, do that as a secondary uh, animation. You know, make sure your performance is really good. Obviously, here I still need a lot of movement. And, uh, this is just rough, thrown together animation. But you can see just with a little bit of work where I can take some of that movement and really give it some oomph to it. So that's uh, that's how you can add soft bodies to your own uh, creatures and settings.